further ado, let's get into our week six NFL predictions. Here we go. Okay. Commanders at the Bears Thursday night football tonight. Um, we're both going to take the Commanders here. Yeah. Look, see, the Bears are fine. They're at home, so I guess that gives them a slight edge. But I'm really not sure what they do well. At least Carson Wentz can push the ball down the field, throw to some dynamic wide receivers. I wish I could say the same for Justin Fields. Um, they run the ball decent, but their line is bad, so they can't pass protect. They're a one-dimensional football team. Um, and in a passing league, I think the Commanders have a better quarterback and better weapons, so I'm going to roll with the Commanders. Yeah, it's really a bad game, and I'm not looking forward to watching it tonight whatsoever. But if I had to take one of them, I'm going to go with Washington. They seem to have uh, – I like their pass rush a lot too and what they're able to generate on defense there and uh, go get after quarterbacks. Um, so I'm going to ride on that side right there. I agree. All right, we'll go with the Buccaneers at the Steelers. Uh, we both like the Bucs here. The Steelers, look, the rebuilding, and that's fine. That's fine, but rebuilding teams don't win this type of game. No. Point blank against Tom Brady. Brady in that defense. Um, I'm not sure I feel great about Kenny Pickett going to that. I will think I do think he'll get his first NFL touchdown this week, so you that'll think? be exciting. <laughs> I do think he will. I think they put up maybe like 10, 13 points, something well, like I that. Mean, but yeah. The defense isn't near as daunting as the as the Bills were. So no. no. Um, okay, how about the Vikings at the Dolphins here? So we, I went back and forth thinking about the Dolphins, but I don't know who's gonna start a quarterback for them. Um, we think Teddy Bridgewater. I I two is not healthy. I'm not sure about Skylar Thompson, so I think at this point you got to go with the Vikings, a known commodity, right? You know it's Kirk. You know they're going to get that offense. Sure. I worry about them going down into the heat into Miami a little bit. But at the end of the day, I think the Vikings are a good enough football team to be able to navigate a backup quarterback. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I think the Vikings here are the clear choice. And plus, I need Dalvin Cook to, to do some wonders for me this week. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah I, I wouldn't mind that as well. <laughs> um, how about the Niners at the Falcons? We're both going to take the Niners here. Um, first of all, they run the football really, really well. Atlanta has a hard time stopping the run. Um, and Jimmy G is accurate enough to get the ball to the playmakers and hey, the, he's the been Falcons. Good. Yeah, he's been fantastic. And I, we both like Jimmy G. So, I mean, that's not a surprise to us. And that defense is that defense is fantastic. We know the Falcons can't really put up that many points anyway. Um, the Jets at the Packers. We'll both take the Packers to win. Interesting tiebreaker, though. I will actually take the Jets plus seven. I know it's crazy at Lambeau, Jets plus seven, but to be fair, the secondary hasn't been very good for Green Bay. And like it or not, Garrett Wilson, the the rookie um, from Ohio State, has been fantastic. Corey Davis is emerging as a pretty decent uh, wide receiver. Oh, man. They can run the football a little bit. I don't think it's crazy that they keep it close. Saul is a defensive coach. The defense has been rocking hey, a little bit. Look, I'm all... Hey, and I'm you're, all... So you're going to take the Packers minus seven. Yeah. Look, I don't feel great about the Jets plus seven, but somebody's got to take a risk here. I'll do it. I'll go for it. Yeah. Um, I feel like you're it, sticking it, your neck out there a little bit. I think it could pay off. Okay. I mean, you're the one that proposed it, so if it comes back on you, I don't want to hear complaining. That's fair. <laughs> I always propose the split, so whatever. Um, all right, Cardinals at the Seahawks, another one that I don't feel great about on the split, but I will take the Seahawks at home. Yeah. Um, first of all, the Cardinals, they have not been dynamic. They have not put up a lot of points. They're in the bottom third in the league in scoring. Um, Kyler's not looked the same. And to be fair, Geno Smith has played really, really well this season. And they have a great, they have two really, really good deep ball threats. And the Cardinals have been giving up big plays. I like Seattle. You're not wrong that Geno Smith has looked pretty good. Um, but I don't see him as the type of player that can sustain it over a period of time. And I mean, yeah, the Cardinals have their flaws. They do. But I just don't, it's one of those gut things. I just don't see the Cardinals losing this game. That's fair. Well, Seattle always burns me, so I wouldn't be surprised if it happens again, but I feel pretty decent about it. Yeah. Um, all right, Panthers at the Rams here. Now, pay attention to the line, 10.5 for the Rams. We'll get to that next segment, but the Panthers going to the Rams. Um, the Rams haven't looked very good, but at the end of the day, they're still better than Carolina, so we're both going to take the Rams to win. Yep. Bengals at the Saints. We both like the Bengals here. Um, better quarterback, better weapons. Defenses are about the same. I think the Bengals have a very underrated defense. Defense is about the same. I like the offensive coach in Cincinnati better than the defensive coach in New Orleans. I like the running game of uh, actually uh, with Taysom. If Taysom Hill runs the football like he did, maybe the Saints have a chance. Yeah, but that's kind of an anomaly. I don't expect Taysom Hill to run for 115 yards every week on nine carries. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so I and the Bengals are the better team here. Yeah, the Taysom Hill stat is not a uh, projectable stat. So no, not really. Um, Patriots at the Browns. So you like the Browns here at home, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, I'll take the Patriots to play good, sound defense. Um, and so, yeah, the Browns can run the football a little bit. But here's the thing. The Patriots can stop the run pretty decent. And also, if they're hoping to get some play-action fakes with Jacoby Brissett, the secondary is 
really been good at taking the football away this year mm. um, for the Patriots. So I, I'm going to rely on them to get like one more turnover, one more possession, uh, either Bailey Zappi or uh, you know Mac Jones put through a field goal uh, or get him in position, field goal to end the game. I'll take the Patriots in a close one over the Browns. You like the Browns. Did you say run the football a little bit? The Browns have, I mean, come on. They are going to run all over New England this week. We'll see. Um, we'll I think see. Nick Chubb is going to have a fantastic game. Yeah, they can stop. The New England can stop the run for sure, um, and they are a better run defense, but I don't see it mattering all that much. I mean, the Cleveland Browns have showed that they can move the football on the ground and at least possession their way. Um, to victories Uh, they've had their drawbacks this year for sure that's been evident but I think this is one of those weeks where I mean coming into the season we were pretty low on New England and I don't see the Patriots at a level where they're going to be able to compete with the Browns I don't I think it's fair I think it's fair um, all right, Ravens at the Giants we'll both take the Ravens here we like the Giants they're, they're, they're not a bad football team but I think the Ravens are just that much better. Not competing with Lamar yet. Yeah, I think he's – Lamar's dynamic. The receivers have been a lot better. Rashad Bateman, Devin DuVernay have been very good this season. Mark Andrews is fantastic. And, yes, I liked how the Giants can run the football a little bit, and that's going to be a problem. But the Ravens' weaknesses in the secondary right now. They have a couple rookies starting in the secondary. They're actually – their front seven's pretty decent. So I think the strength of uh, of the Giants doesn't necessarily line up the matchup-wise yeah. um, for this game. So the Ravens uh, over the Giants here for us. Jaguars at the Colts. We're both going to take the Jags here. You know, even though they are the underdog going into Indianapolis. Look, where's Indy finding points? That's my question. I'm not sure they do. They make it look like it's really tough to come by. I'm not sure they do find points. I think Jacksonville will. Jacksonville over Indianapolis here. Bills at the Chiefs. We're both going to take the Chiefs. Uh, I think being at home is a huge factor. I think this is if this is in Buffalo, I'm probably going to take Buffalo. I think that's how close these teams are. Yeah. That it's it all just depends on where you plan. And I think Buffalo's a little bit overvalued here at, at, at minus two and a half just because they trounced the Steelers. Uh, but I think the Chiefs right now are a better football team. Or they're at least more consistent. I, I just don't see Buffalo's defense being able to stop a Kansas City offense yet. And that's Buffalo's what it comes not down even to. Bad, but they have some injuries in the secondary. Well, so uh, when you play a juggernaut like Kansas City, you have to have more than one way to win. We talk about this all the time. Oh and, yeah. And if you're going to rely solely on Josh Allen to beat an, a Kansas City like that, I mean that's just that's a tough task. That's yeah. Because you have to go out and you have to play pound for pound with Mahomes, and also Which is a tough task. Rush the rush. Be responsible for all the running yards, or all the rushing yards, uh, running the football every single And you have to score on almost every possession. Good and, luck. Yeah, because yeah, I just, your defense is not going to stop Mahomes. So, good luck. Yeah. Um, all right, Cowboys at the Eagles. We're both going to take the Eagles here. Look, I would have to think about it if it was in Dallas, but prime time in Philly, going to be a little bit chilly. Um, I'm not... Oh, man. <laughs> we might have to restart. <laughs> can't believe it just rhymed. Uh, anyway. Um, oh, you hate the word chilly, too. I do. So, anyway, um, it's going to be cold, I would imagine. Um, nighttime in Philadelphia around this time of year is not necessarily warm. Um, they're going to be able to run the football. Uh, now, I will say it's going to be... It's going to be tough. That front seven of, of the Cowboys is fantastic. Yeah. Um, but right now the Eagles are a better football team. I don't know who I'm getting at quarterback for Dallas. Even if it is Dak, I don't like feel what great. What level are you going to be? And plus, right. I mean, we just saw your backup win more games than you have in the last Yeah, who knows games. what the locker room is going to be like, right? So it's, it's interesting. Because, I mean, uh, now if Dak goes out and loses, that raises a question. Like if, if Dak comes back. You better back, believe that's the lead if they lose. Now if Dak comes that's back my and loses rant. like two straight – Loses two straight when they when Dak comes back into the lineup, and you are starting to look around like, oh, I'm telling Rush you won. right now, <laughs> I'll give you a fair warning. If <laughs> if Dak comes back, the Cowboys lose. That will be the opening rant next Thursday. I would hope so. One hundred percent. Okay, Broncos at the Chargers. Um, we're both gonna take the Chargers here. The, the, the Broncos can't move the football. Uh, Herbert's number one in passing right now. So in a passing league, they have better weapons right now. Um, a better quarterback, need I say much else, no, a better I mean, coach, and I still don't even like the Chargers coach. I think just Nathaniel Hackett's that bad. Um, so, uh, you know, all across the board in the major positions, the Chargers are better. So, yeah, yeah, they'll beat the Broncos, no problem. Yeah. No, that's about it for our predictions. Um,